If you have no trouble in setting up your depth of field, then this one's for you. Hello, Swain and Robson here. Right, in this one, I'm going to uh, give you a solution for a common problem. Um, I know a lot of you have problem at times um, setting up your depth of field quickly. Um, the workflow normally will go something like this. This has already been set up, so I'll just quickly whack this up to a high number to illustrate the point like 10,000. And the field width normally around 200. So we'll stick it on there. All right. You'll do this. You'll take your floatable plane sli distance slider down and you'll hit about there and you'll have trouble getting it exactly where you want. So what you do is you take it back and get it to just when it's starting to hit. Like that. Then take it back a bit. Then double click that slider there. Right there. All right. And it'll reach to the end. It'll limit it to that. Now go down and do it again. And back it off a little bit. Double click it. Go down again. Focus in. Double click if you need to. I'll leave it there as you want. And then you can take this in to a small number. See so a 69. And then do the same thing again. It's as simple as that. That'll be about as quick as you're going to be able to set it up. Um, if you wonder what this model is, by the way, it's an old model that I had a bit of a play about with um, from Salvation Prophecy. So there you go, that's a very quick setup of depth of field. Um, and it's easy to alter as well. Remember, you can still overclock the sliders. This works for the tone mapper, works for ambient occlusion. I'll give you a quick example. Um, see the, the ambient occlusion here, I can double click to limit them to where the sweet spot is for this particular model. Let's slide them up and down so I know that the I mean, occlusion isn't going to go over a certain level. Tone mapper. Let's say for some crazy reason I wanted the gamut to be 4 and then bring it down and then say well maybe I want it like that. Double click it. Bring it down again. Double click it. It's limiting the sliders. So easy. Hopefully that will be some use to you. I bet it is. See you all next time.